It's bittersweet, really, having to leave behind this beautiful starter cave that we poured our heart and soul into to make it a home. But in order to achieve greatness, we've got to venture out into the world as much as it wants to kill us and meet things like the phosphorescent chupacabra. So since we last left off, I sorted my inventory a bit, prioritized some stuff to take with, along with some empty inventory slots, and I think it's about time that we go. But first, I should make a better canteen. I realized all you need is iron in order to do this, then you can upgrade it. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose the filtered water that I just got, so that's awesome. So let me instead drink this first, at least get my water maxed out, and then we'll have a beautiful iron canteen that I have to refill and apply a charcoal filter to. What's really nice actually is when you load the world, as the chunks are loading, it gives you kind of a little, a little peek at, let me fill this before I get freezing. Gives you a little peek at the above ground so I could tell that it was actually daytime. So now is as good a time as ever to go and I guess say hi to the Reaper or just run away. I watched a little video giving a few little tips and tricks on, well, early game to advanced game. I focused on the early game, but it seemed like a good idea because it gives you additional range. That's not how you make a pike. How do you make a pike again? I think it was on the diagonal. I can't make an iron one yet because I don't have the levels for it, but we'll, we're close to attack eight. Okay, it is, oh, you need poles, which means you need more string, so... Should we use our last two? I don't even have the sticks for this, so whatever, we're gonna have to go up and worry about it later. Wait, is it gone? Hold on, did it just leave? It was literally just there, and now it's not? Let me out before I drown. Oh, God, oh. Are we good? Wait, we're actually good. We're actually chilling. This is incredible. Hold on, you're telling me I can just make a boat and continue, and actually no, before I make a boat, I need to go and hit up some of the grass over here so I can get, I need more wool. I need to make bandages. I need to do a whole bunch of things for quality of life. I need to get a sleeping bag going so that we can keep avoiding nighttime. Oh dear, oh dear. No, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I heard the wing flaps. I was like, oh, that's not, I don't wanna, <laughs> going the other way. Don't want that, don't want that. All right, gonna make another uh, flint knife really quick. Also, I do need a lot more sticks real quick here. I need to get to a higher level, unfortunately. <gasps> Jesus Christmas, what the frick balls? Good freaking God. I didn't know that breaking leaves could be the end of my life too. Good God, dude. Just everything. Everything wants to kill me at every turn. And is there gonna be another one here? Uh, is that another? That's another freaking crake over there, dude. Okay, I just need one more, and then I can make a sleeping bag and be good. But then we also do need to keep making more so we can make bandages. And we do have to look out for the phosphorescent chupacabra. Yeah, uh, things are great. Things are really, truly awesome and great for us right now. Let's, you know what? Let's make a bow. And let's make some arrows. That'll be good for us, I think. Should we just... Do a little bit of that. There we go. 24 arrows. Not great, but it's something. Ranged weaponry will keep us alive. And it's great that just everything that manages to land hits on us is able to just hit our head. At least you guys are friendly. Nice snails. I'm going to hang out around you guys. So what I need to do is I need to find a village. And I kind of need to prioritize doing some trades and getting experience that way. That's very helpful. Being able to use iron weaponry will be very nice, but then we also kind of need to work towards unlocking um, some other level ups in various other categories. So it's still gonna be it's still gonna be like a fairly rough time here in the early game. Can't properly equip my sleeping bag. I'm, I'm good at other things. Nineteen sticks seems okay, and we've also got a lot more plant fiber. So. How about we make a pike? And then maybe I won't be so helpless after all. Pretty please. I also, oh yeah, I, I put some quick stuff over here so I can access it. The problem is I can't use this quite yet, but we're gonna work towards it. Let me make the stone pike for now. So here we go, one, two, and stone pike. It does six and a half attack damage, which is actually more than the stone sword, and it has the reach too. So that's pretty cool. The bummer is it, it's two-handed, which means I can't offhand anything. But at the same time, we can't make a shield or use it yet. So look at this. This is so sick, though. Oh my god. Look incredible. Look at that range. 
an absolute unit. Okay, let's toss that. And now I have nothing to fear. I can, I can take on anything. Definitely. Let's go and sail around and see if we can get lucky enough to find a village before something kills me. Yo! Oh my god, let's go. We got a structure. Is it actually a village? It might actually be a village. This is great. Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll get our first nice little break here. Fingers crossed. Oh, barrel, mushroom. Wait, we are actually supposed to get mushrooms, if possible, as well. That thing doesn't look nice. Verdant mecca. Are you, wait, why is this village full of uh, verdant meccas? I kind of wish it wasn't. I kind of wish it wasn't. Oh, there's a bunch of barrels out here. Huh. Stone hoe, mushroom, beetroot. It kind of, it looks like a village. But are there villagers? And why are you illuminated? <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable. That makes me think he's like a special boy who's gonna absolutely ruin my life. Is that wool? I think that's wool. Are you guys chill? Wait, actually they might be chill and there are villagers. I would think that he'd like be trying to attack me. Maybe, would, are you guys? I'm gonna hope they're good. <laughs> I'm gonna hope they're good, otherwise I'm probably gonna be in danger. Yo, have you got- oh, actual- Oh, this is a torch torch. These are ones that you can actually keep lit, I think. Nice. Hey, you guys, uh, are we chill? Are we chill? I think we're actually chill. Maybe this place just raises maccas. Oh, dude, we're hanging out. Finally! Finally something peaceful. Maybe they actually protect the villages like instead of iron golems, we have dinosaurs, which is pretty cool. He doesn't seem super pleased to see me, but that's okay. Oh, look at that delicious cake. I'm not hungry yet, but ooh, I'll be back for that. You guys don't mind if I just eat your cake that you probably worked so hard to bake, right? Okay, what's at the top of this place? Yeah, this is huge. I don't know if they're gonna have any uh, a vineyard or something like that. I like having these. Yeah, wait. Wait, why do I have mining fatigue? Is it so that you can't actually like ruin the village? Yo, actually I do want to keep this because the, uh, the lit torches, they don't work with Optifine, it doesn't look like, in order to illuminate where you're at. Oh, look at the difference. It's down by my side here. Put this in and I hold it up and the light follows, like you would expect with Optifine. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, we got beds here. What do we have in here? Ooh, iron sword. Oh, a bunch of arrows, come on. That's mega. Now, in the video that I watched, the strategy that the guy recommended was um, very much not geared towards playing in hardcore because it was like, what you should do, hi, nitwit, is you should go around find villages, then purposely die, find another village, and keep utilizing the waystones in the villages in order to be able to go and collect the stuff that you've accumulated. Can't really do that here in hardcore, unfortunately. Oh, dude, there's a ton of food. I didn't want to do that. I didn't, okay, this, uh, it's actually awesome that this actually allows you to keep picking up that particular torch, and it doesn't turn into like an unlit one. I'm getting toasty, dude. I'm getting real toasty. I gotta take a swim here, chill out a little bit. Maybe this is the place to be. Wait, you guys. Would you, why would you do, this is so stupid. Is there anything in here? Nope, nothing in there. That's a. Look, I understand trying to like discourage intruders, but to just straight up booby trap your house to explode. That seems a little extreme. <laughs> Wait, are those all? Oh, those are all like torch torches that I can just yoink. And is that the, that's the waystone over there. Okay, this is awesome. Cause then when we find more villages, we can simply use the waystones in order to travel back and forth and we don't have to worry as much about, you know, keeping coordinates in mind and all of that stuff. So this is a good spot to be at. Wait, the village is running. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Please, please tell me there's not a dragon. There's not a dragon, right? There's not a dragon. 
Tell me there's not a dragon. Okay, there's a couple- there's a couple evil mans. Oh, it's these dudes. Wait. Are you- Yeah. They... Probably... I've discovered the age- Oh, nope, nope, nope. He turns into a spinning top blade. That looks painful for me. He can't get through the door, right? Yeah, this that range, this that ranged attack, bro. What you gonna do about it, huh? What you gonna do about it? Oh, he's he's in uh Yeah. Dude straight up can't defend when he's in little spin to win mode right there, dude. Got more nether quartz. Ezra meter. Let's can I I can't can I not rename it? Nope. Nope, I can't. Great. Ezra meter! That's my home, everybody. Remember that. Cause I won't. What about this place? This place seems pretty stacked. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, there's double enchantment. I don't, I do not wish. I do not wish. I do not want. I, Sam I am, I do not want green eggs and ham or red creeper and bam. Is he really just gonna stay up? It's like he knows, he knows. Please come down, please come. It's, it's a, no! Ooh, ooh, you were making me think maybe you're like a friendly creeper or something like that, but you're not. You're not friendly. Thank goodness for the pike. This place is kind of awesome though. This looks like a good place to chill and set up a home. But, sorry. I'm desecrating the library of, of the town. I hope they don't mind, but um, it's fine. I'll, uh, I'll, Create a new source of knowledge or something like that, and then go transport the other stuff over here. Um, okay. We got another bad guy. Are they- I can't remember actually, are they chill unless you attack them? They might be neutral. In which case, I didn't actually need to battle one, but hey, I got some quartz out of it, so... You know, not bad. Not bad at all. Nothing there. Okay, why are you illuminated? Oh, there's also, there's bounty boards, right. Raw orosaur meat, but that, I would have to kill the peaceful dudes. Required Gorgamite kills, diamond pike, and 74 crag rock, five gar, stray kills and dirt. Oh, you get 30 emeralds for that. That's actually kind of, wait, what? I have to do it in five minutes though. I don't know where strays are located, but that actually seems insane. Not getting 27 emeralds today, expired. And then it dis oh, just disappears automatically. Well, that's sad. One of the bounties is requesting that I kill you guys. Isn't that ridiculous? Like, you guys are here, making the village a safer place for everybody, and there's some bounty hunter who wants to end that. And I won't stand for it. I'll tell you, if I see anyone coming after you guys, I'm on them, dude. I will protect you. All right, just, just let that be known. I think you guys are awesome. As long as you don't make it so I can't open my doors. It's this early and I already need to sort everything out into a million different chests. It hurts. Okay, we need an agriculture chest. We need a mob drops chest. We need like, I guess I can just put the furnaces down. That'll be fine. Oh, this is good. Okay. This is a crate. It's basically a mini shulker box, so it gives me, you know, like an extra, an extra line of inventory space. If we can get many of them though, then each of them is another line of inventory space. So this gets to stick around with me for a bit. I'm not gonna be able to enchant yet. I, th I think that requires a really, really high level and, um, oh, actually not terrible. I think that's magic level 12. So another thing to work towards. God, I really, I need to get some experience. Um, mining ores does seem to be a good way. There's also this menu, which again, requires experience in order to be able to level things up. So, level cost, 11. So I can choose whether or not to spend levels there, or I can spend levels in here. This is what actually gates me being able to use certain items though, so I feel like this is kind of a priority for the time being. Wait, what is that over there? What is that? That's kind of creepy, a wisp. Oh, okay, must be good, it gives glowing and night vision. 
Oh, that's what's causing things to be illuminated when we were seeing the maca and stuff earlier because it just illuminated that chicken. Oh, I'm glowing now, whoa. What is this over here? I feel like I've seen this before in like better Minecraft and there were pillagers here, so I'm, part of me is a little bit worried about going into it. Are there any pillagers around or is it just nice? Oh my God, oh my God, I love it so much, bandages. Plaster, plaster, it doesn't stack, which kind of sucks, but this is awesome. And nothing threatening appears to be here. Wait, are these all sleeping bags too? Oh my god, they're all sl oh my god. This is incredible. This is the place to be. We also have the crate, so we can take some of this stuff and put it in here. Put all the medical supplies into there. Oh my goodness. Oh my good, and actually, I mean, if we wanted to be really terrible people, there's so much wool here that I could just steal. But also, I feel kind of bad about it. Well, I guess we can always come back here if we need to, but med- Oh, I have to be magic aid in order to use the med kit. I'm assuming I can't use shears, right? Probably not. Let's just double check. Shears, gathering two. I might actually be able to level gathering to two, and then I can get wool that way without having to desecrate the nice little encampment that so kindly donated all its medical supplies to me. How about it? Yeah, I can do gathering to two. Easy, there we go. Oh, another thing though that I absolutely need to do, which I was looking at in between episodes, is under defense, undershirt. Once I'm able to get to defense 12 and agility four, every 10 seconds taking a fatal blow when your health is above three hearts will reduce you to half a heart instead of killing you. Critical in hardcore. Nope, 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 nope. Not doing this again. I'm not doing this again. Look at me run. Look at me run. Look at him run. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Uh, oh, what's the play? What's the play? Frickin' thing is fast. Okay, but I can jump across and it can't. You can't jump across the water, you little freaking crank. Okay, eh. Relatively sorted out inventory system here. No item frames, but you know what signs will have to do for now. I'll take it, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's go on a search for birch and maybe some other villages and whatnot. Once I get far enough away, I'm gonna just have to hope I find another village because you can't track coordinates in this. Another thing that I, I forgot about until just now is in RL craft, you can craft wool into string. So if I were to completely destroy this camp here, I would be able to do a lot of string trades with our villagers and then be able to get a lot of experience that way. I just feel badly because it looks cool, but I might end up doing it at some point because we do need to level up our skills and stuff. Another thing worth talking about, okay, that crake over there, not looking good, not looking fun, is I saw a lot of people mentioning that rather than the objective being a tier four or tier five dragon, I should make the objective the ender dragon, which I didn't realize is apparently similar in difficulty to the ice and fire dragons. I'm like having a real hole in my memory as to whether or not I even did we do the Ender Dragon when we did our craft back when it was me and, and Zine? I don't know why, I, I just can't remember. Was it that the Ender Dragon is actually an absurdly difficult thing and we didn't end up doing it? Anyway, that could potentially be an objective. I'm open to your feedback on it. If you want to comment and let me know what you think about it. Oh. Okay, that's fancy. I think that's a, a mean evil dungeon that is full of spawners and stuff, and I don't know that we want to go in it. But there are also some, like, endgame bosses, right? Some dudes, like, who you who spawn the whole huge arena when you go to fight them. And so that could be another option, potentially, as far as endgame goals, doing those big bosses. I don't know if those are potentially um, way beyond the difficulty of, of doing the dragons, but... Uh, I don't know, just throwing it out there is something. Oh, and then one more thing, really big deal, actually, the hats. I was told that there's hat storage, so I put the other hats in there, so I've been carrying those around with me. So, that's great, we don't have to leave any hats behind. It's awesome, I didn't have to leave any in the chest. We can bring all our hats with us. Eventually that'll fill up, but that's okay. Is this a, um, is this a dungeon? Is this a crazy dungeon? Should I take the iron axe? I don't know if it's worth doing. I didn't bring along any iron, actually, in case we need to make any new stuff. It's all gonna be stone, but I suppose it's fine. I just don't wanna completely fill up my inventory, you know? Oh, wait, you know what? I have no issue stealing the wool here. 
Nope, no problem whatsoever. This looks abandoned. I don't think anyone's living here anymore. And then we can just take all this, boom, put it into string, and that'll be huge. We'll be able to trade with the uh, the boat fisherman dude and hopefully be able to get lots of XP. You can't handle the truth. There we go, dude. We're absolutely insane, dude. We're popping off. Oh no, oh no, that's a skeleton though. I, I'm not, I'm not ready for skeletons. I don't think I'm ready for skeletons. Wait, okay, the graveyard has a chance. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it has spawners in it. Pong Kong. Do we like Pong Kong? Let me guess, that skeleton probably just shot me in the head. Right, let's just check. Yeah, no, of course, of all the places that it could da do damage, my head. Hong Kong, I believe, is the ape boss. I'm a little nervous to be in here because I'm pretty sure you can let mobs loose if you mine out the wrong gravestone, but... Okay, bread, stuff like that. Let's just see, let's just see. Can I get myself into any trouble here? I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> just a little bit nervous. Oh, hey, did we do a fairy over here? You, can I have a little bit of regen really quick? Yo, don't fly closer to the... Don't fly closer to the tree. Malevolent Observer in Pong Kong. That's just so awesome. Hey, we're good again. God, I love the fairies. They're so cool. And that I... I'm so sorry. Tanky. I mean, I... Oh, diamonds, boys. Let's go. Yo, another diamond. Let's go. God damn. God damn, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. There's another way. There is another way. There we go. Thank goodness they don't fight back, but also my bad. Yo, level 16. Okay. Um, yeah. I think we can go. Can we do? Yes. All right, dude. We are level eight in attack. I can start going iron. I can start. I can actually start replacing the pike and go iron pike and then next up I suppose we should start working on mine can I get mining up any further so I can go iron pickaxe and stuff oh okay two more levels and then we'll be there I think I can hear Pong Kong and I don't like that because I'm not ready to take on a boss <laughs> not okay right now everything is just spooking me to no end dude oh that's definitely Pong Kong bro oh dude I, I totally neglected my birch objective Will these smaller ones still give me birch? I mean, it's fairly tall. Here, come on, come on. Yeah, give me birch, let's see. And I go to work under the birch tree. And I'll make myself tons of paper. Ooh, that's something. Should I go up here? Surely nothing could go wrong in exploring this place. Oh, give me these freaking torches though, dude. Give me these torches. Definitely not gonna cause mobs to spawn on the way down because I've destroyed them, right? Oh, is this place just abandoned? Okay. Yeah, just abandoned. How much health do you think a Krake has? Can we do this? Think we can take it out? Yeah! Oh, come on. Oh, it's just two arrows? I was worried for nothing! Oh, I can take them out, no problem, bro! Yo, do I want to try to melee the crake, though? I'm feeling a little bit bold right now. I'm feeling a bit bold. Yeah, in the water? Oh, oh my god, dude, we just crushed him! Two hits? Uh, at long last, this is actually one of the roguelike dungeons. <laughs> So, yeah, no, I'm not ready to go in there yet. Aspid, you know what? I'm feeling adventurous. I'm feeling adve- Oh, that's my bad, dude, I'm, I'm sorry about- I'm sorry about that, dude, that was really mean of me! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, he's like, why'd you hit me, dude? Oh, that's my bad, I thought you were- I thought you were mean! Oh! Well, oh, that's what I get for finally deciding to be a bit aggressive, is I... I just make something sad. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Well. Oh, oh, 
Oh, that's a whole thing under there. And also, I thought, nope, nope, nope. I don't want. I, I don't want to be there. I don't. I don't want that. I don't want to be near that because I'm not equipped to handle them at this stage. No, I'm not. Oh, oh! It's an infernal poison boy. Yeah, that's no, uh, no, 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 no. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, Jesus! I've made terrible mistakes right now. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't think I want to be here. I hear little skittering noises, and I don't like it. I'm going back to the forest where it's safe and happy. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's sleepy time, right? It's sleepy time. Although there is actually a mount in the desert that was highly recommended, but in order to be able to tame it, I think... That's not a bow drawing back, is it? That's not a bow drawing back. I thought I heard skeleton drawing a bow. There's a lot of there's a lot of sounds that are scaring me here. Um, I think you have to go into the Miramax dungeon. The frick is that boy? If I had to venture a guess, I'd say I probably don't want to fight that right now. I'd like to take this moment to reflect on our various sponsors for this series. The like button, which you should click down below the video, and also mcprohosting.com slash captainsparkles, where you can get a server for 25% off your first month. And then you can try this with a friend. And still in hardcore, so that if one of you dies, the other can be forever alone. Hold on, hold on. Can I do it? Can I'm getting a little... I'm burning up here a little bit. Yeah? Yeah? I blurped it. Oh, it's done, dude. It's freaking done. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're, we got a little understanding. You and me, you and me, we're chilling. I'm just incinerating here, so I'm, I'm just, I'm glad that we're chilling, though. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. Uh, there's a little, there's a little castle thing over there. Frick, 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 frick. Frick. Oh, God. Oh, God. I should light him up. Why am I not lighting it up? I don't know why I'm not lighting it up. I don't know why I'm not lighting up. Uh, frick, 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 frick. There we go, there we go, because that's the poison spider. Bro. It is most definitely your boy. It is most definitely your boy. It is your boy. It is your boy. Getting some stuff. Getting some things. Nothing really great, but regular torches are actually pretty cool. And I could do the big brain maneuver, which is... Please be the right spot. Please be the right spot. That's the right spot. As long as you don't spawn underneath me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me that XP. Dude, I'll, I really... I just want the XP. But we can do the cheesy steezy way. This is how we conquer battle towers early on while we're still very flimsy. No, I didn't. Oh, you little frick. You little frick. Oh, hi there. This is easy enough to deal with. Is it just zombies on the next floor? Because we can handle them, no problem. Bro, this pike is sick. Oh, hi. It's good to see you. Yeah, no, you're really not actually posing much of a threat to me. If it's just zombies, like, I can handle. But... Okay, I think I can actually... Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, appreciate you. I would... Okay, what do we got? Oh, whoa, dude, whoa, for days. Actually sick? It's gonna kill me. Choke? Berserk. Wait. Nope. Nope. That's the one that drowns you in the air. That's gonna... That gets an instant veto from me. That's an instant veto. I don't do those. I do not do those. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> I've had... I've had experiences with that before, and it's just... No. The minute you engage on them, they start drowning you. For those of you who might have watched the Hexit 2 series that was streamed and on Captain Sparkles 2, that's... It's... That's bad news. And it's good to know that they're here, because... That poses a real threat to my existence. That is an existential threat. Is that a- Oh, hi there, bud. Wait, are you gonna jump out the window? Oh, you look like you're threatening it, dude. Yeah, were you trying to make some- some intimidating moves? He's like, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Just look at me. Okay, yeah, well, I don't think so, dude. I got you. Well, he just went back inside. Well, uh... 
No sea monster, no whammy. No sea monster, no whammy. Please, no sea monster. Please, no, also, please let me be far enough away. I'm, I'm probably gonna get really cold up here. Okay, alright. No, give me my boat. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm cold. I'm quite cold. Basically, apparently, the cold in this game in 2.9 is brutal. Can't hit me, can't hit me, can't hit me. Oh, that's a whole, like, gravel trap down below there. That's a whole, like, frickin' gravel trap, dude. Yeah, it is. Uh, are you chill? I can't, are you, you're, <gasps> no, he's not chilling. He is not chilling. He is the opposite of chilling. How could you? How could you? Don't do, oh, freaking balls. Oh, freaking balls, dude. Jeez. Whoa, what is this? Is this like a whirlwind projectile? Okay, I kind of want that just to see what it does. A rare, totally zen zombie, the raging berserk clothes. I can't. Oh. Okay, you shift and do it, and I've just used it up now. So that's good. Uh, <laughs> hey, you guys. Oh, that's that's a few. That's a few mans in there. Just a couple. Hey, what do you say that before we die here, we uh, just <laughs> we just level up some uh, mining to level eight, and then we can start using some iron stuff, which will be awesome. And also, maybe, maybe start leveling up. Oh, you little fricks. You little fricks! You little fricks, dude! Oh boy! You know, on second thought, I'm not sure I'd need to be up here at all. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Everything's good, everything's fine. You little frick, you little frick. I'm healing, I'm healing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, do I'm done. I'm done. I'm done here. I'm going! He's out! See you later! Please don't be a sea monster. Okay, there's another thing over there. Maybe that's like quite not not quite as bad. This place looks uh, pleasant and and nice and not gonna uh, eat me into the air. At least we were over water, making for a quick exit. That's always good. This place is nice, and yeah, I'll just use some of this plaster and bandage up my right arm. Oh, how about a little bit of uh magic leveling up so that we can. Oh, oh, oh! Yo, level eight already in magic, bro, that's huge. Okay, what do we have here? I wonder if there, I, I'm not hearing any mob spawns, so maybe, maybe it's just not a thing in this area. Who? <gasps> no! Frick, 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 frick. Oh, I'm here for a bit now. Oh, no. Well, I need to get gathering to eight, to, do the other stuff, so maybe I should have done that instead of magic. All right, here should I should I you know what if there's a if there's a sea monster here, there's a good chance if I keep going out into the ocean, there's gonna be more sea monsters. Maybe I should just <sighs> gonna yolo. He's gonna yolo. He's gonna yolo. I don't see it anymore. I don't see it anymore. I'm just gonna try to work my way back and maybe start going back towards land, but it is the desert, so it's gonna be hot and that's gonna be also scary. But maybe it's better than being in the ocean. Oh, I have memories of this place. I mean, there's nothing necessarily wrong with this structure in particular, but what I will say is the first time I ever uh, encountered this one was also the first time I ever encountered a sea monster in RL craft, and somehow that holds true today. Oh god, there is an enchantment table. I don't think I can, let me just, wait a minute, let me just go in and collect this stuff, and then, oh yeah, there's weird, it was just like, yeah, is super weird stuff. Oh, uh, runes and stuff like that. Interesting. Wait, what about you? Iron Nunshaku. Oh, you know what? It was recommended. I should make, and now that I have attack eight, I think I can do it. Iron throwing knives were highly recommended. I need keys in order to access this stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't want this to be the second time in RL craft that I get killed by a sea monster here at this place. Wolf dog armor actually seems super cool. Although, it was never- Oh, buried treasure map, could that be nice? Iron wolf armor instead. It was never recommended that wolf armor was, was a particularly good strat. It was more recommended to get, frick, one of the desert mounts, but... Okay, sea monster, we're gonna leave you behind there. I just need to refresh my memory on what it was actually called? Jesus Christ. 
No, 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 okay, okay. Also, it's really hot, and, um, oh, you, you don't seem happy for me to be here. You don't seem happy. Um, hey, it's okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go over here. I'm just going over here. You're, are you still mad at me? Are you still mad at me? You're still mad at me. Why are you still mad at me, dude? I, honestly, I figured that I could go a little further away and we would be, we'd be fine. We'd be chill, but yeah, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, no, this is fine. One of these days, we are going to run into another village. And then it's gonna be great, everything's gonna be awesome and no longer on fire. Good. Back to the temperate biomes. <sighs> this is stressful, dude. Oh! No! No! No, it's a freaking... It's one of the cockatri... Oh, it's a cockatrice! I'm in, I'm in trubs, dog. I'm in, I'm in big trubs. I am in big trubs. You don't wanna look at it. 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 Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, as long as it's still not on me. Is it? It's still on me. Ball sacks, ball sacks, ball sacks. It's still on me. Oh, it's gonna force me to be nighttime because that's gonna be really not cool. All of a sudden, my world is on fire. My world is absolutely cooking. And I have mining fatigue. Oh, this is big, big bad, big bad, big bad, not good, big bad, not good, big bad, not good. Please don't come up over the ridge right now. Please don't come up over the ridge. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Okay, I'm like really on fire. Boom. Frick, 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 frick. Now I think it's just the, I think it's the heat that's getting to me right now. I think it's the heat. It's not the cockatrice, it's the heat. Am I okay? Am I okay? God, I've totally lost bearing of where I am. Oh, it's freaking still on me, dog! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me, dude. You have got to be kidding me with this. I'm not looking at you, you f annoying little mother trucker. Okay, how can I defeat this thing? Nope, nope, apparently I was looking close enough. I was looking close enough. Frick, 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 frick. Okay, where am I? Oh, no, 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 no. Why am I so nauseous? Why am I so nauseous? Hold on, hold on. Where, uh, I, west is the way home. Okay, so that's the, oh, wait. Oh, wait, I forgot, you can see coordinates. I'm gonna go this way. You can see coordinates if you do that. So this is home, I think. And then, oh, wait, no, west. Apparently home is, what is that over there? That's crazy. Is that a village? That's not a village, is it? I don't think. Yo, it's a waystone. <gasps> I'm saved. Majorabab Desert. Yes. Oh, is that a dragon over there? That's a dragon. This place sucks and I'm leaving. I want to go to Azure Meter. <gasps> You'll never take me alive, cockatrice. Not today. God! I think that might be where we draw close to episode two of RL Craft. We made it out alive. I don't know how close I was to die in there, but I didn't want to push my luck too far. Because as soon as you start hitting them, you're looking at them and they, ooh, they hurt. Um, again, make sure that you like the video. If you liked, help us get to a target goal of six likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Check the playlist if you missed the previous episode or if you're watching this in the future and there's more to jump straight into. And um, hit the bell, turn on notifications, and that's it. Whew. I'll see you next time.